good Thursday evening, everybody. Come on in, come on in. It's sort of late in the evening, but you know what? Kareem and I want us a, a big old beef hoagie. So what I'm going to fix, what you're looking at now, is my peppers and onions. And there's my um, hoagie bread. It's like, oh, it's probably 18 inches long. And I've got some beef. But he's a meat, so I'm going to stir fry that beef for he meat and saute these onions. And Kareem's not here to eat his right now, so this is like something you can do ahead of time. You can go ahead and prepare everything. Uh, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to stir fry these onions, saute the onions rather, and uh, just sort of sear that uh, for he meat because it's uh, beef and it's already uh, cooked, of course. And then I'm just going to simply put it on to this bun. And I'm going to wrap it up and then see what you can do later. You can take it out, put you some mayo on. I'm not going to put any mayo or mess, mustard or anything like that on it. But later on when you get ready to eat it, you just take it out and uh, melt some butter, put it in a skillet and sort of heat it up. And then put you some little, little mayonnaise on it and some you know, lettuce, tomatoes on it if you like lettuce and tomatoes on your sandwich or not because I'm doing the sauteed peppers and onions and that just makes it taste really, really good like it's off the grill. So let's get started. I got it over here on the countertop and I got to get over here to the um, stove and get my meat going. So y'all hold on just one second. Let me shift everything because where I'm standing now is just not, I, because I got this big old, y'all see I got my big old, uh, A big platter there. So hold on one second. I'll be right back.
Okay, y'all, as you can see, I've got my kosher deal spears. I went ahead and bought a big old jar. Kareem has decided he loves pickles with hot sauce. And these small jars, they just weren't lasting long enough. So I went ahead and bought a big old gallon jar. So now we got us a gallon of uh, pickle spears. He can eat his heart out. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead now and do is start putting the sandwich. Oh, yeah, and that's my pork rinds I got. You know what? This is one of my little weaknesses thing. Pork rinds with hot sauce, y'all. Anywho, I just thought I'd show you all that. Anyway, this is my junk counter over here. And, of course, I told you I got the watermelon over here. I'm going to cut it shortly. So, let's go ahead and put the sandwich together. I mean, it's just a simple thing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, uh, the meat... Hot. It's about three quarters of a pound of uh, beef. Fajita meat. You load it up with the fajita meat. I don't want to put too much meat. You know, I don't like a lot, a lot, a lot of meat. But I like enough so when we bite it too, you know we got a meat. Like the babies can say a meat sandwich. Okay. These pieces of meat are kind of thick, y'all. So, so the sandwich is going to be very, very good. Okay. And this is uh, one medium onion that I'm putting on here. It's a medium onion. And um, two small yellow peppers. And then four of those uh, confetti colored peppers. The red and, and orange peppers. And put a little bit of those on, on the sandwich. This is going to be so good, y'all. And like I say, um, you, we're not going to eat it right this minute. So we're going to come back later. And we can slice it up. I'm going to put every bit of it on there because this is like a, a foot long thing. I'm going to make it fit. Yeah, you know, I wasn't going to put all of it on there at first, but I am now. Now that I see it will fit, all of it will fit right on there. Okay. Yum, 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 yum. For real, going to be a happy little champion. You know, guys love me. Y'all guys that's watching this. Y'all, y'all love me. I realize that you love me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's all loaded. See, it's loaded, y'all. Okay. Now, mm, I'm not going to put anything on the bread. So I'm going to do this. I put it all upside down, but that's okay. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Now, <clears throat> what I am going to have to do. Oh, that's good. I ate a piece of that meat. What I'm going to have to do to wrap it, I'm going to have to cut it. I'm just turning it over. I had it all upside down. That's okay. Mm. I'm just going to press it down like that <clears throat> so it'll stay together. Or maybe just, let me just prop it like that. And I think I need to cut, I can cut one. Maybe I'll cut it in four sandwiches. That way. It won't be too much. So let's get me a bread knife. Mm. 
And when I say bread knife, I mean one of the knife with the serrated edge. And it cuts so much better. This is plenty to cut it in four pieces. Yeah. Okay. Now, y'all, even if I wanted to uh, freeze these, these would freeze really, really well. I'm going to wrap these in some saran wrap real good. And like I said, as we get ready to eat them, take them out of that saran wrap, put them in the skillet with some butter, and toast them up, heat them up a little bit, and we'll be ready to eat. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead, I'm going to cut my watermelon here in a few minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and get these sandwiches wrapped. So see how simple and easy it is? Like I say, if this is something you want to do for another day, you can do these for another day. <clears throat> and, you know, if you put them in the refrigerator, you can even freeze. I wouldn't suggest you freeze them over maybe a two or three weeks or a month because you don't want that bread to get weird on you. But there's our foot-long beef and pepper sandwich. There it is, y'all. I'm having to sort of lean it a little bit against the back of this tray. Okay. These are some of my vintage trays. These are some of my 30, 40 year old trays. And my husband, like I told you, he loved to buy stuff for me to use to cook with. This is actually one of those long trays that, because we used to do a lot of big old red snapper, he purchased a couple of these out of the uh, comments, out of the BX years ago. It's probably about 30, 35 years old. So that's where I know some of y'all might want to know where this came from. So that's where it came from out of the uh I think I would be at so somewhere like that. Anyway y'all can see that sandwich. There it is. Okay that sandwich is cut and ready to be wrapped um and eaten here shortly. So just wanted to stop by tonight and just talk to you a little bit about things of the world, see what you got up on your mind, seeing if you're blessed, seeing if you're still praying without ceasing, and making sure that we remain in the gap praying without ceasing for all the things that are going on in the world today. So guys, thank y'all for stopping by. Thank you for your well wishes, your uh, encouragement, your compliments, all those things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, don't forget now, Tune in uh, to Lady T Sensations, Abide in the Vine, and the Tanya Howe, and of course, the Flavor Train. Um, Miss Prissy P, B Love, and Miss C's Kitchen, and of course, Tyra's Big World of Flavor. And please don't forget about All About the Bakes. Don't forget to uh, jump on uh, board when they, when they load up that trailer and that truck. Jump on and take a trip with them. Uh, all over east of North Carolina. I know they travel a lot. So wherever they go, they always got some kind of big adventure for you. So don't forget to tune in to All About the Banks to see where they're going next. Okay, guys? And remember to pray without ceasing. Resolve those unresolved issues. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. I'm going to go over here and cut this watermelon. And uh, I'm going to say too loose. So y'all hang on just about two more minutes while I cut this melon. Okay, y'all got my watermelon. We praying that it's nice and sweet and crisp. I've been having it for a couple of days. I don't ever really cut the watermelon the same day that I get it unless I just know for a fact that it's going to be nice crisp. It will just split me a little... Alright, so 
Well, let's see. It doesn't. It smells really good, y'all. This smells real, real good. So let's see what's gonna go on with the watermelon situation here. What I'm gonna do? I got my container already sitting over here ready. And move one piece over here out the way, and we'll get this one in the frame. And what I do is just cut it in half again, and then just cut it like so. Cut it just like this. Get right on there. I cut it all the way to the rind in hopes or having faith that it's a sweet melon. And this one does have seeds in it. I try to get the seed less ones. I think I got one with seeds in it this time. So either way, we're gonna eat it. We have to get the seeds. Like I said, chew chew the bone. I mean chew the fat, spit the bone. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. That's kind of sweet, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. So I get all that out of there. Ooh, it's got lots of little seeds. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I thought for sure we had. That's one thing, too. When you go buy your melons, Make sure you read the sign. Some people like the seeds because of the nostalgia of spitting watermelon seeds out. I have no seeds now. We ate when we grew up. I don't think I remember anything about a seedless watermelon. I've always had seeds in them. So now to have a seedless watermelon is wonderful. I love it. You don't have to worry about getting those seeds out of your mouth. But this is basically how we do our watermelon. Every time we get one, slice it, cut it up, put it in the refrigerator. And we're just going to have to fight seeds this time, y'all. Cut it all the way through. And there we go. So we have us a nice little dessert. Just, you know, get you one of these nice big old plastic containers. Okay. Just put it around, stick that knife through. Cut it around, stick that knife through. Cut, cut, cut. And then if you want smaller pieces, you just cut it one, two times. You want the bigger pieces, cut it twice. And there we go. We got some nice big bowl of watermelon. Mm. Like I said, this is a bit sweet watermelon. Could cut it, I could cut it all the way to the rind. And there it is. It's our watermelon. Definitely. A good old sandwich. And a bowl of watermelon. Let's get our sandwich down here. And this is our Thursday night eat, y'all. Watermelon. And a good old beef and pepper sandwich. How about that? Okay. And of course, that's my snacks jar. All my junk stuff. <laughs> Anywho, y'all. I'm about to get out of this kitchen. But this is just something that I just wanted to share with you all. While I was talking to you all about prayer. Always, always. I love food cook all this food but it's always more about prayer than it is about anything else and this is nothing fancy this is just something cool refreshing simple to fix and very tasty so lot guys like i said keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down and until i decide to prepare another meal to lose